Hi guys, I'm Lexi Jade and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Lexi, congratulations with the new single. I Thank you. I'm I'm feeling your pain through your vocals on this track. Like you are making me like feel those feels. Um, talk to me a little bit about kind of going back in time to a place where, you know, it's it's heartbreak. You you experienced heartbreak and being able to write about it, let alone like releasing it to the world. Like what was that initial process like? Were you kind of hesitant in the beginning uh, as you were starting to write this track? So I actually was not hesitant at all. It was actually something to me that was so important that I needed to write about. Um, I, back in August, I actually had had a whole project planned out um, about love and how uh, how in love I was and the joy of my relationship. And then I went through the breakup and after that, I just kind of was like, you know what, I like music, first of all, is my everything. It's my therapy. It's the way I express myself. Um, and I just knew I was like, I have to scratch this entire project about the love because I look back and I listen to it and I'm like, gosh, I can't listen to that right now. Like that doesn't make sense of how I'm feeling right now. I just went through something so brutal. Uh, how could I be talking about love? Um, so I made the effort and made the, I was like, I'm going in every day, um, until I feel like I've gotten my next project. Um, and I'm going to write about this breakup and I'm going to spend every day in the studio and I'm going to talk about everything and basically like track my entire process, which was so cool because I started literally maybe a week after the breakup. So, and I'm still writing now for this project. So I've kind of like emotions it's been really cool to see that how the songs have changed over time because it started really really sad and then it got angry and then it got okay I'm okay but I'm still missing him and all these different emotions I kind of have in these songs and I think for me it's so important to be honest and vulnerable with my music that's one of the biggest things why I love writing songs is because I'm a I'm able to take something that I went through and I'm able to release it to the world and make people feel stuff from it. Like there's girls that have texted me and DM me being like, thank you for saying something that I wasn't able to express. Like I'm able to take my pain and turn it into something beautiful because I know that it, there's so many people around the world that are feeling the same way I am or have felt the same way I have. Um, so I've, I've never, re I've never been hesitant about talking about it just because I think it's so special that I'm able to talk about it and I'm able to use my emotions and turn it into music and express the way I felt and tell my story because there's so many people out there that aren't able to express that. And I make music so they can listen to it and feel those, you know, like heal. Cause sometimes most of the time people listen to music as their therapy. And I feel like I'm kind of doing that in a way um, and helping people heal and helping people just let a good cry out or scream or laugh or have fun. Like there's so many different emotions involved. And I don't know, I feel, re I feel really lucky every day. I'm like, gosh, I can't believe I get to do this. This is so cool. This is my job. <laughs> I feel like this track was like the closure that a lot of us don't normally get during these situations. So the fact that you were able to like e express those feelings that everybody goes through during this time period, um, I feel like that just kind of helped, you know, those that are currently going through it as the song just dropped. It's crazy because I never got closure from my ex, like not one piece of closure. And I searched for it for so long. Um, and I realized after the song, like, there's no way I'm ever going to get closure from him. But this was kind of like my closure. Like, this is the, I'm ending this chapter now. And now this is my chapter. This is the start of this. This is the start of leaving that all behind, but also letting it go and putting it out into the world. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's also cool because I think a lot of people are going through, um, the same stages of heartbreak as I am. So as I release music, they'll, they'll gradually be growing with me. Um, so that'll be fun to kind of see people, how they relate to the song, how different they relate to drunk text me. It's going to be fun. 
Now, I know you said that you weren't hesitant at all to write this song, but uh, because it's it's you're being so vulnerable um, with this track, I feel like it's you can't just get into the studio, into the room with just any collaborator, any co-writer. Um, so what was it about these collaborators that you that you chose for this particular song? Like, what was it about them that you felt was the right fit uh, for this kind of single? Um. Well, fun fact about me, I feel like I'm actually so open with literally everybody. So I feel like any session I could go into, I could tell everybody my entire life story. Wow. But specifically, I know it's really weird. I don't know. <laughs> After I tell it, I'm like, should I have told you that? I don't even know you. Um, but I guess it's okay because I'm a songwriter, so I kind of have to tell stories. But um, Nick Ruth, who produced it and also co-wrote, um, it's just such such an amazing producer. And every time I go into the room with him, it's like straight magic. Like it's so special. Um, and I just knew also there, um, I wrote it with Kate Downey, who um, is an amazing, amazing writer. Um, and I had yet to work with her. And I've I've seen her stuff. I've, I've seen the stuff she's done and I've watched her videos online and I just knew I was like, I need to bring it in to this session. Like it's going to be magical. Like the two of them and me, like this is going to be so sick. And I had the entire, like I had the concept, I had the chorus, like I fully brought it in. I sat them down. I was like, this is what we're doing today. This is the song we're writing. Like, I know this is so special. And I walked out of that session and I just sent them all a text. I sent my entire team the text and I was like, this is it. Like, this is the song. Like, I know you guys don't believe me right now, but I promise you this is it. I literally have like the text of me saying that. Um, and it was just, it was so special. It was crazy because the song came so easily with them. It was just kind of like we were talking and then we wrote a song. It wasn't, it was very, um, it felt very natural. And then Alexander 23, who also um, produced it as well. Uh, that was like the craziest thing ever because he had commented on my TikTok being like, Lexi, send this to me right now. And we're like, we've been friends online for a minute, but like, you know, like we're, I'm, we're all artists are all like friends, like mutually, whatever. Um, and then I texted it to him and he was like, Lexi, like, this is so good. Like, I would love to be a part of it if you like are what I don't know your plan or whatever. And I was like, Are you kidding me right now? There's no way you're asking me to be a part of this. Like, duh, of course. So, uh, then Alexander 23 got to be a part of it. So that was fun as well. I can't imagine any other producer to, to be part of this track. Like, I felt I feel like Alexander is like the perfect um person to collaborate with on this track. Exactly. I mean, he is just so, so talented and like has such a good ear for production and just as in songs in general. Um, but he added some little things that were very magical and like definitely tied the song together. So I'm really grateful for Nick, Alexander and Kate and the whole team that put it together. Um, it, it, it couldn't have gone any better. I'm just so over the moon about it. Now, once Alexander jumped in on this track, um, you know, how much did the track change? Like you said, he sprinkled some of his magic into it, but like, did he have you or did he assist you or help you step out of your comfort zone in order to like kind of have a different vocal range or have a different kind of intonation uh, during the recording process? So I would say, so I actually, I'd already kind of, I had already recorded all of the vocals um, just cause I, I had a specific way I wanted it to sound. And I just like, I, there was a, I knew there was a certain way there's certain harmonies or certain vocals that I, that I loved. Um, but Nick and Alexander were back and forth with each other and they were both sending bounces back to, uh, me and, uh, no, no, no. He, he definitely like it, it changed in and changed in the best ways. Like there's, it didn't like, it didn't have like a full, like, oh my God, this is a completely different song because obviously like we wanted to keep it like the way it was sounding, but he definitely made it like, I don't know. I, it's hard to explain. He just like added these little things that were, that tied it all in and it, and it made it feel, I don't know. I feel like it, it doesn't like less is more almost in a way. It's just like these sprinkled these little things and added his magic, I guess his specialties that, you know, that I was lucky enough to add to my production so i love that 
and you mentioned it too, less is more. I love that the focus was your voice, your vocals. I, I feel like that was the main instrument uh, throughout this song. Um, Definitely. For you coming into it before, before, like once you recorded your vocals, once you came in um, during the session, like did you have any particular like instrumentation or sounds in mind for the track or was this something that he brought in once he jumped into the project? Well, I think... I think when it comes to production, I trust kind of the, I've obviously I have like my opinion, opinions and stuff. Like I definitely knew I wanted it to have like strings on it. And I knew I wanted it to be sort like super emotional and big in certain parts. Um, but I just like kind of let Nick do his thing. And then um, Nick and Alexander were talking back and forth and I, I trusted them with everything. And I, I know they have my best interest. <clears throat> I know they have my best interest. So um I don't know. I just kind of, I kind of let them do their thing. And if I have opinion, I'm not afraid to say it. Like I'm super honest when it comes to like the, the stuff that I work on. Um, but no, they killed it. They killed it overall. How did Nick and, and Kate make you a better songwriter during this process? I think just in general, it writing with them is just so, it's just, it feels so natural. It doesn't feel like I'm working. I feel like like me, like Nick was like doing, like putting the chords in or whatever. Cause we'd already picked out the chords and Kate and I were literally just like spitting these lines off of each other. Like, okay, so this is the first verse. And then she was like, oh yeah, then we're going to add this. And then I was like, oh my God, I love that. How'd you come in? And then she's like, oh my God, wait, no, we keep that. Like, it was just so like, and then I just like, it was, it's always like Nick turns around from like putting in the track and he's like, okay, so what are we writing next? And me and Kate, like we finished the song. <laughs> It's always, I don't know. It's just, there's just a special chemistry and it's, it feels very special. And I think, you know, she's also around the same age as I am. So um, I think she kind of gets it and we kind of get each other. And I think as a writer, I mean, I'm, I write all my own stuff. So um, it's very important that I'm a part of every process. And um, it's always nice to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. Um, and I think it's like the perfect mix. I, th I think in general, they just bring out the best in me. It sounds like the song like was needed to come out. It sounds like it, it was ready to just be uh, written, recorded and, you know, brought out to the world. During this process, like, did you find any challenges at all, whether it was vocally, instrumentation, like certain lyrics? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was very stressful um, because... I posted it on TikTok and I'd been posting, I'd been posting my music on TikTok for uh, over a year. Like I've never had that happen to me before. Um, and I didn't understand like that it had to move so quickly when something like that happened. So um, when I posted it and kept posting it, um, I got a lot of angry people at me being like, why can't you just release it tomorrow? And I'm like, Oh my God. Like, I wish I could, like, I'm really trying, like trying to like comment back to all these people being like, please don't be mad at me. Like, and then every, every time I'd be like, I'm so sorry. They'd like respond and be like, Lexi, no, 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 we're joking. Like, it's all good. Like take your time, but like, no, hurry up. Like we need this song. And, um, so that was a little stressful. Also, we had to get it, like we had to get the vocals and, uh, the master turned in like within a week of it all happening. And I was in Nashville on like a writing kind of trip thing um, where I was just there to write and I, I was booked every single day. So I would go to a session. And then after that, like eight, I would go to a studio in Nashville with my a &R, and I would be on FaceTime with Nick, like recording vocals, like going back and forth for two, I think like three days we did that in Nashville. And then we literally had to get the production right. And then we had to master it and then turn it in. And then right when I got back, it was just the craziest process. And it was stressful, obviously, in a good way. Like, it wasn't a bad time to be stressful. But it was very intimidating. Also, only the people on TikTok heard, like, the chorus. And I was just worried, you know, you never know what people are going to like and how people are going to react to certain things. I think in general, it was just a, it's just a scary process overall. but. It couldn't have gone any better. And I'm so, so grateful for literally every piece of this process and every piece of um, little moments that Drunk Text Me has had. So 
I, I'm very happy. You have to think twice now before you kind of tease something on TikTok now. It's like you have to either make sure you have the time that week to finish the song or you have to Literally. make sure that that song is like done. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm I'm doing that now. Like, I'm like, I really want to tease a certain song on TikTok, but like we don't have it like perfectly yet. And I'm just like, I'm not doing that again. Like we need to like, <laughs> we need to get it right first and then I'll then I'll post it. But also, like, I don't want to, like, base my entire, like, my my project is not going to be based off of, like, the TikTok stuff, you know? Like, like as I'm so grateful for it, and I'm so, um, I feel so lucky that I was, that day, that random day that I woke up and decided to post that demo on TikTok. For some reason, the universe granted me with all the love it received, but um I I think it's, I don't want it to get to my head of like, I need to post it and I need to get people's recognition, recognition. Um, Because it's at the end of the day, it's about my artistry and what I want as an artist. So I'm trying my best to kind of balance both in a way. Um, Yeah. I already loved the track. And then you one upped it with this open verse that you just released with Katie Turner. Oh, yeah. Um, tell you... me a little bit about this collaboration. And like, what, you know, what was it about Katie that you felt was like the right person to, to bring on board with this open verse? I mean, I just think like, first of all, Katie's so talented. It's ridiculous. Like, I just love watching her TikToks. They're just besides her music ones, they're just f- so funny in general. Like I just love watching them. Um, and she's just such a talented artist and I've seen her stuff for so long now. Um, and she posted a TikTok to my open verse and I just was like, we need to like, this is so good. Like I couldn't get it out of my head. And, um, I, one day I was filming it, I was filming for something for drunk text me and we were like, let's just bring her in and record this. And that way we can just post it and put it online. It's the perfect, like, it's just, it was great. I, I, I think there's like, it doesn't hurt to like add more and more stuff to your release. And I just loved the open verse she did. And I knew I just like wanted to have it like for myself on video like if if not like the whole entire world to see so yeah that's awesome <laughs> now lastly to close us off you're about to open up for griff in uh san francisco and la which is so exciting i'm um, so excited <laughs> like how different is this performance going to be for you uh compared to your previous uh, uh performances that you've done in the past and you know what can your fans look forward to for these two dates so so I would say when I went on tour with Adam um, Melcher, who is amazing, by the way, um, it's kind of like it's kind of the same vibe, same energy. I am singing a few different songs this time. So that'll be really fun songs that I haven't performed yet. So um, that'll be really cool. Also, I'm playing at the Fonda on Sunday and in L.A., which is mind blowing to me because I've literally gone to shows at the Fonda and seen some of my favorite artists at the Fonda. So the fact that I'm playing there and I'm opening up for someone as talented as Griff, like, I don't know. I think it's just, it's the perfect scenario. And I think it uh, it's just, it's going to be really fun. I've had re- rehearsals all week. I have my last rehearsal today. And um, I actually like bawled my eyes out yesterday because we were just like playing the set with the band and I was just like midway through this song that I'm going to sing that no one has heard yet. And I was just like midway and I just like started like bawling my eyes out for no reason. And I was just like, wow, that really hit me. Like that's so when you hear like your music for the first time with a band like live, it is just such a different emotion. It's just such a different feeling. And I live for, for I live for for performing. God, I can't speak today. Um, and I'm just so excited. I feel like it's going to go by so quick and I'm be like, wait, 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 it's over. <laughs> I don't want it to end ever. Got to keep it going. So this is just the first two dates of the year. So exactly. I mean, just you got to plan a tour. Yeah. Got to make it happen for the rest of the year. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Well, Lexi, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Congratulations with me. Drunk Text Me. I'm excited for more music from you, and uh, I'm definitely looking I'm forward so to it. I'm so excited as well. Thank you so <laughs> much for having me. I so I like am so grateful, and I really appreciate it.